Hi everyone, and thanks so much for joining me for this next video. Today, we're gonna work with a piece of red cedar, which I have right here. It's just a big chunk, as you can see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a vase. It's gonna be an interesting uh, design. It's gonna be a little different than what I've done before. Um, it's not gonna be quite this tall. But uh, we're going to get this thing into round and we'll start shaping it and you'll see how it transforms. Stick around. Okay, so I'm going to put the vase that we're making, as you can see here, onto our 100 millimeter um, jaws on our Nova Chuck. Now, I'm going to be using a steady rest, as you can see. I've got it set up here. This is going to help uh, stabilize this length a little bit and, you know, take a little bit of the pressure off of that tenon that we cut in there. Uh, let me go ahead and just get this locked down real quick. And this um, tenon that I put on here was a three and a quarter inch tenon, pretty, pretty large. And you can see here, it's sitting, sitting really nice. Let me make sure that that's all the way up, it is. And I, the shoulder that I put on this 
was very small just because of the fact that that's actually gonna be the bottom of the vase once we're finished. So I don't wanna put this on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this steady rest uh, just to stabilize this. And what I'm gonna do is just bring this thing up here a little bit and you just unloosen it. Um, I'll do a tutorial on the steady rest and how it works. But that's about as far as I can go on this lathe. So I'm just gonna lock this down and get it in position. And I, I don't wanna lock this really tight right now. I just kind of just snug it up until I get everything kind of working on here. Make sure it's touching. And it's gonna be touching in three points. And just bring it up and just touch it and then lock that into place and then lock each one of these into place. That'll just keep it from moving or, you know, like coming loose. And you can see here how it's gonna turn. And what that's gonna do is just give us some support when I'm in here hollowing this length out because it's gonna be quite long. And, um, you know, I'm gonna probably come down about this far. I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom, but about that far is about as far as I'm gonna go. And uh, yeah, so this is really gonna help us out with our stability. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this bottom down. Make sure everything's good and tight. This is all running good. This is a pretty straightforward proposition. What you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that this steady rest is straight to your piece. That's, that's really important. Now this hollowing process is going to be really slow. Uh, it's just going to take some time, so I'm not going to suffer you through the whole thing. We'll show a little bit of it, but I'm going to shorten this part of the video just for the simple fact that it's going to take a while to hollow this out. All right, let me show you up inside of this. And you can see uh, it goes almost all the way to the very bottom now. Of course, I'm not gonna worry about, you know, getting that perfectly shaped on the bottom, but I do want these walls, and you can see like over here to the left-hand side, it, they're, they're going out in the, sh uh, you know, and following the shape that I've created on the outside. Now, it's a little rough right now. I need to go in here and smooth this out, but it's definitely going in the right direction. I'm gonna go down probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about right here. And then that tube or, you know, the original hole that we drilled, I'll be about that long at the bottom. So it'll be a little thicker down here at the bottom, which is fine. Uh, I'm gonna end up shaping this a little bit more, you know, once I get uh, the rest of this, you know, done. But I need to go back inside of here and like right up in this area, um, you know, of course, all the way down, get that good and smooth. And that's what I'm gonna start working on now. Okay, so what I'm using is my Carter & Sons 5 8 inch bowl gouge, and I'm doing a, what's called a shear scrape. So I'm actually taking the 
edge of uh, the tip and turning it you know, parallel to the wall and scraping the wall with it and it's really working well. And I'm starting at the very back and just working my way out, nice and slow. Okay, so I have this piece um, finished and clean. And what we're gonna do is let this denatured alcohol kind of calm down for a minute and then we're gonna put some finish on this. And I'm just gonna use um, some sanding sealer and I'm gonna use some um, Axe sanding paste and then the Axe wax. Well, here is the little vase that we did. Uh, I think it came out really nice. Uh, I like the finish. It's, it's, it's good and smooth and the interior is smooth also. Um, I'm not sure on the height on this thing. Uh, it's about, let's see, what, what is it? Uh, about 11 inches tall and at the mouth, it's about four inches in diameter. So it came out pretty nice. I, I'm happy with it. Uh, I think it was worth the effort. Uh, give me your feedback. Go down in the comments and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Do you turn cedar? Have you turned a lot of cedar yourself? Uh, let me know. And uh, hit that like button. That really helps the channel out. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.